An 82-year-old woman in Houston by the name of Miss Johnny Williams found herself going up against a whole demolition crew. Now, she said early one morning as she was lying in her bed, she heard a lot of commotion outside and a knock at the door. And when she answered the door, it was the city demolition crew there to tear down her dilapidated garage that was located in the back of her property that she's lived that for 60 years. And so she said that she was actually trying to rectify the situation herself, but the contractor that she had hired did not have a license. So she needed more time. So she said her and her family went to the city officials to try to get more time, but they would not give it to them. So she said, okay, I didn't think they was coming right away, but nevertheless, they did. So she uh, parked her little chair in the driveway to stop the crew, but again, it did not work. Now, a city official that is uh, representing the neighborhoods of Houston said that, well, we don't have to give her another notice. In fact, she'll get the notice after we do it. But my thing is, wouldn't I be put on notice if I heard all of the commotion in the back of my house of uh, the city tearing down my garage? I would think so. Now, Takarsha Francis, she said, well, it was a hazard and we deemed it to be an emergency demolition because for one, it was too close to the neighbor's home and it could attract criminal activity. Now I'm like, when has Houston really been that concerned about attracting criminal activity because there's a lot of crime in Houston, right? But anyway, I digress. Now get this, not only did they, um, you know, not give her what she is saying an efficient notice, they are also gonna hit her with the bill for the demolition of her garage. Now, uh, Miss Williams says, I don't know where I'm going to get the money. I'm going to leave it in God's hands to try to pay for it. And if she doesn't pay for it, the city of Houston is going to put a lien on her property. Her property that she's lived at for 60 years, mind you. Now, I'm assuming, I don't know, that the property is paid off. But Miss Williams was like, why y'all messing with me? There's houses all up and down the block. And I was in the uh, north uh, part of Houston the northern part of Houston rather. And she's saying there's houses up and down the block that are dilapidated, boarded up and all kind of stuff. But y'all messing with my garage that I was gonna take care of and now y'all wanna hit me with a bill. So I wonder what is really going on or like who lives next door or is it just another simple case of gentrification and you know, they wanna try to uh, get rid of those older houses as fast as possible and you know, just making up excuses because my thing is a city of Houston, you know, I drive up and down the streets quite often and y'all got a lot of potholes and depending on the neighborhood, there's garbage and all kind of stuff everywhere. Y'all couldn't have used that same demolition crew to maybe fill up some potholes or go clean up some trash. But y'all mess with an 82 year old woman who's lived in her house for 60 years and y'all tow up her garage. What's really going on here? So anyway, y'all tell me what you think of that. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetra K Show here on YouTube. Peace.